This program contains subject matter and language that may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. My name's Carrie, I'm 20 years old, and I'm from Arlington, Washington. Good, good, Carrie. Carrie was a good boxer. She was tough, and she was just determined. If Carrie would have stuck with boxing, she could have had a career path with that. She had everything in the world ahead of her. She had a lot of places to go and conquer a lot of things. I always wanted to go pro one day, but I can't because I'm addicted to heroin. Either she's out looking for a fix or she's on it, but all she's doing is just chasing her high. I'll find receipts and I can go in those stores, shoplift those items, return them with the receipt, and they'll give me cash for it. Boosting, they call it, you know, exchange stolen items for drugs. She's been caught numerous times shoplifting, arrested numerous times. She most recently was charged with a felony for shoplifting. She thinks that she's invincible and she can do whatever she wants. I don't really know who she is anymore. When Carrie was born, she was just the happiest baby. She and Grace played together when they were young. Did you got your little sister, Carrie? We were really close when we were growing up. We spent a lot of time together. We had a lot of fun. Grace and Carrie have different dads. And when Carrie was about three years old, her dad and I separated. And after that happened, it was a downward spiral for, for him. He was in and out of prison. Every time that he'd go to jail, he'd send her a letter. And then as soon as he got out, she wouldn't hear anything from him until he went back to jail again. I would watch out the window for my dad every weekend because I thought that maybe he'd still come, but he wouldn't, you know? But I still, I'd still sit there. I felt very bad that she didn't have a dad in her life. But when I met Chris, I felt like he was the perfect guy to be in our lives, except for Carrie wanted to make it very clear from the very first day that he was not her dad. The first thing I ever said to my stepdad was, I already have a dad. <laughs> it's just this anger, and she would get in trouble at school. First grade was when I started getting in trouble, like throwing chairs across the room, yelling and screaming. After she started high school, she was in trouble literally every day. Her number of suspensions finally got so high that they were about to expel her from school. And then a miracle happened. She saw a television show about boxing, and she said, that's what I want to do. When I first met Carrie, she was a pretty shy girl. But for looking timid and acting timid like she did, she was pretty aggressive in the ring. She transformed into a different person. And Brett made a connection with her that no one had yet to make. He kept her disciplined, and he made her stick to a routine. And I think she really felt that he was a father figure to her because of that. He didn't just teach me how to fight. He taught me how to drive a stick and ride a quad. And I was failing almost all of my classes. But after I started boxing, I didn't fail a class. I just started making a bunch of friends, and my attitude changed. Boxing changed my life. And she graduated. That was like a miracle. She did really well all the way up until she had a match that just seemed to have lost her confidence. When I lost my first fight, that made me really disappointed in myself. That made me push a lot harder to work for my next fight. And my coach was in the corner telling me the whole time, like, you got this, you got this. And the next thing I know, I'm going in the center of the ring and he holds the other girl's hand up and says she wins. I thought we'd won the fight, and we went over and checked the cards, and she lost by two punches. Her confidence gets broken down very easily. Because of what happened with her dad, Carrie has issues with accepting loss. If she gets defeated, it's hard for her to just pick all the pieces back up and just keep moving on. I lost a lot of hope, and I just felt like no matter what I did or no matter how hard I tried, that the same things were going to keep happening. 
after that fight, and she distanced herself from my gym, and she just faded away. She just started to withdraw. I started drinking, like, every day. It all started to numb how I felt. Carrie got a job at a fast food place, and she started using heroin with people that she met there. They said it was, like, made of vinegar, brown sugar, and, like, tar from cigarettes. I was just naive. After that, she never went back to boxing. She got fired from her job, and she dove into it full force at that point. I used it for, like, a week straight, and I got withdrawals. And, like, ever since then, I never stopped because I hated the feeling of being sick. Before I even realized how bad it was getting, it was already there. My family kicked me out of the house because they didn't want me using drugs in the house. And that's when I became homeless. I haven't heard from Carrie. She's not answering her phone. And with this intervention coming up so soon, I have to find her because this is the last hope that I have to save her life. Oh, where is she? I think we should check her spot, the abandoned gas station. So you're still using? Yeah. Yeah. You say it like you're happy. No. It's only you that can get off it. I know. Seeing Carrie today is just not the same Carrie. She was always giggling and laughing in here and happy-go-lucky, and I don't... I just don't see that. Dear Carrie, I'm here today because your addiction is killing you, and I want to see you get help. I remember all the times that you took care of me when I was sick. We used to spend so much time together, and now we rarely see each other. Now anytime you stay at home, it makes me uncomfortable and scared to have you around the house. Your behavior lately towards mom has really disturbed me. You have been so manipulative and deceitful towards her, and I have watched as her health deteriorates because of that. You've changed so much in these past couple years. I don't even know who you are. I want my sister back. Seeing the strong women you became as a result of your hard work and drive, it made me feel so proud. But things are different now. The light of life that you once had in your eyes is now gone. You never laugh or smile anymore. I don't want to bury my little girl. So you're going to go? Yes. Yes, baby. Carrie! <gasps> Hi. Oh, my God. I am so excited about Carrie's progress. I just never imagined that it would be this wonderful to see her. I feel way better, and my moods change, and I'm just a lot more clear-minded now. You just look great. Your eyes, they have a sparkle in them again. Just amazed. I'm super stoked, actually, to get back into boxing. Those are nice wraps and gloves that Brett got you. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Seeing how beautiful life really is, I'm so grateful that I said yes, because I didn't want to go to treatment at first, but now I'm just glad that I'm not on the streets anymore. Five steps.